Hey everyone, it's Adam here. This is me setting up my uh, truck ramp for the GSs. I had uh, traction control turned on. Bam! <laughs> this time I had it turned off though. Smooth. You made that look easy. So this trip takes place at the BMW RA Rally, and it's Heather's first time riding in North Carolina, or actually anywhere outside of Northeast. So uh, our first trip on day one after we get into North Carolina is the Blue Ridge Parkway. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, she did fantastic. We had a wonderful time. We had um, we explored uh, North Carolina and Tennessee, went to Asheville for the day, uh, had some great food. Yeah, it was fantastic. She did so well on these curvy roads. It's her first time on like really extreme curvy roads. And uh, obviously this is like my fourth or fifth time in the area. So I had a blast, of course. Um, that was day one. Now we're already in day two where um, she and I are actually heading to, um, after Blue Ridge Parkway, we're heading to Tail the Dragon, which is... Uh What's up, girl? Which is, um, you know, I've done it a few times. Last time was, I think, back in 2019. And so that video is on the channel if you guys want to go watch it. It's been a while, and I, I rewatched it before this video, and I realized just how yeah. um, much I've improved since then. Uh, also, keep in mind, I'm on, like, barely DOT legal knobbies. The Moto Z Tractionator Rouse. So, um, I was taking this trip a little bit easy compared to Heather on the Anarchy 3s. Oh, this is, um, me following, uh, Falco Fred from Adventure Rider. Uh, he took me on the Rattler. There's a sign. That was a fun time, actually. I would say the Rattler was actually more fun than Tale of the Dragon for me. Um, so we had a really nice time. I think we had like a two-hour ride, roughly, to, uh, High Springs... North Carolina and then back to Waynesville where the RA rally was taking place. I just I love if if I could retire anywhere, it would be uh North Carolina. Hmm, my video screwed up there. Yeah, it's just it's it's just gorgeous there. Hmm. Um and then we hop over to Tail the Dragon. So this is where kind of Heather and I uh, had our, our next morning. We got up at 6 a.m. to the hour ride up to um, uh, Deals Gap. And then um, she was incredibly nervous, by the way. Look at that rain rolling in. She was incredibly nervous, but um, you know, I didn't pressure her. I said, hey, you know, it's we got here. We had a fun time getting here. We saw Fontana. And... Um, she was cool with that, and then she we waited around a few more minutes. She said, "You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it." So um, I had a couple of things that I had kind of told her initially, which was just like, "Hey, you know, ride your own ride, follow your own speed, um, enjoy yourself. It's it's you know, it's not a race." And uh, she did really really well. So let's just kind of sit back for a second and kind of watch that footage. That's the normal speed. 30 is fine. These, these racers, they live here. They get to do it every single weekend for as many times as they want. All right, look to the right. And now immediately look to the left if we want to go. Perfect. Look hard left. Hard left, good. Good job, that was a good turn.
Whatever you are, just you can turn it off if you want to, but this is not gonna work, is it? Son of a bitch. Fucking be out of So you are. Oh. Gotta a little bit. So it's recording right now. And you take off and you ride your own ride. Look forward, please. One thing you probably noticed in my footage was, um, this is back on Heather's bike, was um, how often my traction control light came on. <clears throat> um, I'm on the full knobbies, and they they are not grippy at all. So, um, you know, whenever I went on the throttle at all, just a little bit, they would. Uh, <laughs> you see it when we go on the trail, tail of the dragon. You see it in a couple of the turns. Uh, they just they just break traction even under really mild conditions. And so uh, I had to be super careful, which is great because she was going about 25 to 30. So uh, ended up being okay. I broke traction here as well, by the way. some stickers of course and some ice cream Uh, next up is the GS Giants obstacle course hosted by Sean Thomas. Uh, it was fun. You know, I, I didn't do very well, but it was still fun. Um, what I will say is this was great practice for me to find a few more gaps for my GS Trophy qualifier coming up in two weeks. And so since then, I have um, been out. Uh, <laughs> this is terrible. I've been out doing some more um, uh, training by myself and with Harry. So, you know, good things. I've, 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 I, I, 
yeah, terrible. Oh well. But I, I, I have a lot of work to do, and there's no way I'm winning the GS Trophy qualifier, so I'm just having fun with it. Ta-da! <laughs> you mean I could have charged you five dollars? <laughs> <laughs>